Hey guys, welcome to the sequel to my pen case tour video. Today I'm going to walk you through three of the cases I reviewed in my first video, which I will link below if you haven't seen that one. I think it was about a year ago or thereabouts, and I went through each of these cases in detail. Today I'm going to share my thoughts with you on these cases after almost a year of use. Do I still feel the same way about every single case? I'll let you know. So the Lit Lab cases, these two are the ones that I reviewed last year. The orange one is called the Lit Lab Tefa case, and I'm going to start with this one. In this one, the specs are 4.7 inches by 7.9 inches by 2 inches. This one is the two compartment case, and I think it's the most popular one from everything I've looked at online. It looks like it's the most popular case. So in the first video last year, the slippery fabric was an issue for me. I felt like it was a little hard to grab. Guess what? It doesn't bother me anymore. It actually does work for me. I don't mind that it's slippery and the fact that it's so hard really helps it retain its shape. The size of the pen case is really good for someone who wants to make sure that they have everything they will need with them. When I go away on a trip, I always end up taking more art supplies than I actually ever use or need because I just get inspired having stuff around to use in case the mood strikes. So this case is really perfect for me in that regard. This is like a really good plain case. There's plenty of room in here and there's room for erasers and sharpeners and correcting tape or whatever else odd shaped items you need that you wanna safely tote around. I mean, you can even put dimensional items like these little clippers, you can hold your pages for you. You can even fit scissors in here. Uh, they have to be short. This is a short scissor and it fits really nicely. Put my pencil leads in here. These little mesh areas, you can stick stuff that are oddly shaped that aren't two dimensional, but you know, for instance, I put my rubber eraser in here and it works great. It fits a really nice selection of pens too. As you can see, there's a lot of weirdly shaped stuff in here. The double zipper is really helpful because you can open it from any angle and it's totally fine. Nice and hard. So regarding the size of this case, I really love the size of this thing. It is bigger than my hand in terms of like how I would grab it. I talked about that in the first video. I complained a little bit about it and it's not an issue. It's still within the circumference that I can grab it pretty easily. I thought the slippery fabric and the width might prove to be a problem, but it's really not. More is more for supplies. And this is a case that is like a more is more case. It does a great job of giving you lots and lots of room, support for your supplies, strong support, you know, and it does all of this in a really reasonable size. It's not a huge case, but you really can fit a lot of weird stuff in here. So there's plenty of room. Now the double zipper is one of those things that makes this case shine above others for me. And here's why. You can create a little pouch or bowl or just sort of keep it wide open. It's so versatile. You could use it like that. There's still plenty of width. So you could sort of look in and see what you wanted to get. You could just put stuff loose in here and dig out if you were on traveling on the road or something. So there's lots of ways you can use this or you can just keep it wide open. And still there's a little bit of depth here. And even with the other sizes of this case, you could probably get even more depth if you wanted. So the double zipper combined with the thickness, the depth, I should say, makes it really much more versatile and functional. For a book-like pencil case, it's fairly deep, but it's not so deep that the sides are too high. However, the sides are high enough that it allows that double zipper to play out like a pouch or a bowl or flat. So it's very functional and you can use it in a few different ways. I mentioned before this case comes in a variety of different sizes. Some are larger than this one. I'll show you them on the screen where the case is much deeper and with more compartments. Links in my profile if you want to check those out. A few other things that I went through in the other video that I talked about as sort of drawbacks of this bag. The lack of an elastic band here. It's a non-issue really since I so often use this as a pen pouch. 
half open like a little bowl, or a lot of my pens have these little clips on them. Throughout this experience of using multiple pen cases, I've also learned what my own personal preferences are. I'm just not a line up the pens like soldiers kind of person. Oftentimes I will have pens in here that don't have these little clips and they may be in here, but I'm not super caring if they're just flopping around or not. You know what I mean? Because I use this often as like a little half bowl. I can still see what I need, but things aren't gonna be flopping out everywhere, especially if I'm traveling, you know? Cause this is a really good case to use when you're traveling. When you're planning to have some actual art time as opposed to the type of trip where you're packing pens for just in case, a scenario in which you don't know whether or not you'll be able to and you just wanna throw everything in one bucket. This is kind of nice cause you can keep things separately. You can sort of go easily to the type of supply or whatever supply you want and everything's nice and neat. You can keep it as neat as you want or as messy as you want, you know, it's just, it's really nice to have all these little options in here. So it's really great if you're feeling more neat or if you're feeling messy and you just need to quickly throw everything together, look, you just do that and you can still see your stuff. And after using this and knowing the quality of it, I mean, I'm really sold on this case. And for the price, it was really unbeatable. I mean, I, I did not pay much for this case. At least it was cheaper than the Pusheen case. I think it was cheaper than the other Lihit Lab case too. So that's that, this is a great one. Lihit Lab double L case. This is a really, really popular case. I find that the most people have asked me about this case after my first video. The specs on this one are 4.1 inches here, 8.7 inches here, and 1.8 inches here. I mentioned I have two of these, the Aqua case. It's still my wallet and I still use it in that way and it's still great. So here's the one that I use as my wallet. It's kind of dirty now. I haven't washed it. As you can see, it's very sturdy, it's held up. And I mean, I use this all the time, obviously it's my wallet, so. So the yellow case, I do still love this one, but I have found that my use with this is more limited. It's better for a smaller collection of pens, like a specific collection. So I could put, you know, just my pencils in here or with, you know, the accoutrements I need for that. This one doesn't necessarily expand with your needs as much as the orange one does. You can certainly fit a lot in here, but it's better for a more limited and specific amount of pens and pencils. So this part has a double zipper. It's not very deep. I found that it's really not very deep. It's very, um, it feels a lot flatter. Really good for a wallet. Works great as my wallet. I love it. Here's another compartment and I just have some erasers in here right now. Also this fabric, it does tend to get a little bit dirty. It's not repellent of dirt, but it's also not like, it's not like a dirt magnet either. So, I mean, I've had them for a while. I haven't washed them. So you can see the wear. This one I use every day. So obviously it's kind of dirty and you know, it's got, it's got some fuzz from wear, but it's still really great, very sturdy. And this boning here really keeps it very, very nice and sturdy. All right, let's go on to the third case, the Pusheen case. This one is in full rotation and it is a great case. I think I picked this up for about $11.50. Blick Art Materials, you can get it on Amazon. I have a link down below. I'm sort of a dump everything in person. If I'm going on a short day trip or something, I just give me some stuff to use. I can even fit a small sketchbook in here, which I often do. I can fit this sketchbook in here. Um, you know, if you just move stuff around, you can fit stuff in here. It's a nice, deep, sturdy little case. I love it. She's missing a whisker, but that's life. I never sewed that back on. I gravitate towards using this one for the type of travel when I can't depend on time to do art on my trip, but I really want to be able to just steal a moment if possible. Like, so if I don't have something where I need specific materials and I'm just using my pens, my pencils, I throw it all in here, throw a sketchbook in here that will fit. If I just want something to sort of get out my ideas and do some quick sketches, I'll put that in here. I brought this to a wedding a couple of months ago and it was perfect. One thing I love about this bag is that the zipper does not go down all the way. This gives you a little bit of leeway. So if you're on a train or in a car or just even in your hotel room, but specifically anywhere where you sort of want it to be like a little pouch and not have things flying everywhere, 
um, you're not going to risk having everything fall out if you open this case and use it on your little train table or whatever because of that nice room there. It's very much like a little bowl. The half circle shape also provides your stuff with some protective cover, even when the case is partially open. And the bottom is flat, which allows the case to stand up on a table by itself. So again, this is really good for travel, really good when you're on a train or an airplane, something where you, you know, want to have it be a little bit sturdy so it's not flopping all over the place and it can sort of stand on its own and stand up to a little bit of action. So in the first video, I mentioned that I would love a double zipper on this one. And that does still hold true as long as the zipper functionality would not cause it to always be closed at the center top. So I guess you could have one zipper here and one zipper here and then zip it like that. And I think that would really add a lot of functionality to this case. I'm not holding my breath for them to do that. Obviously, this is a novelty gift item that happens to be a really good pencil case. So I love the case as is. Perhaps I would have them sew the whiskers on better, but beyond that, this one really does perform great and I love it. So I'm not going to go into those blue Q cases because I think I really covered that in the last video. Those are great for a multitude of different uses. I use those when I'm on the road for little items that you have to bring with you. Really, you could put anything in them that's going to fit in them. I have those links in the first video and I will put them down below as well. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this follow-up to the pen case tour video. And if you have any of these cases, please let me know how you like it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.